Welcome back you guys and today once again I'm going to be teaching you how to get a super team like me on FIFA 23 So if you're new around here make sure to drop a like down below and if you'd like to win one of seven copies of the AFC All you got to do is subscribe and send me proof over on Instagram and as usual if you want coins in a quicker way Well, so if you guys are sick of losing at FIFA because your team isn't good enough or you're not good enough at the game Then right now you need to head over to skycoach.gg Not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you You can buy any amount of coins you want and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code Pro Recall, go check them out below. Make sure to click the link in the description and let's get into it. Now, of course, guys, to start with, we need to get you the coins in order to be able to do the trading. And some of you might be thinking, well, why am I on the icon screen? And don't worry, guys, it's very simple. You've got two SPCs in every icon. They're Born Star and then you've, of course, got Rising Star as well. You need 11 rare players. 11 bronzes and 11 silvers. Very, very simply, if you have those players in your club, it's free to do, essentially. Or if you go and acquire them, it costs about a K. The return right now is very good because a lot of 83, 84, and kind of the lower end of fodder is quite expensive, so you can really make bank off of these SPCs. But if you can't do that, of course, there are some other ways. Take yourself over to Moments, Squad Battles, Div Rivals, or Foot Champs. Now, all of these Foot Champs, if you just do qualifications, you will get a trade or reward. You don't even have to be that good. Rivals, you pick your reward, but if if you are good enough to get a high one and put it tradable, you're going to get a good return and score battles, it's always tradable. So there's easy ways to make coins where you can do things in the background like squad battles or if you want to actually play the game, foot right, foot champions and div rivals is really simple. Now, of course, from there, you're starting with a low amount of coins. So we need to obviously make the bulk of your coins after that point. Now, where do you want to go first? Of course, you've got the lower end methods. Premier League is probably the easiest place to go. If you go English, you've got quite a few options. So first of all, you can take yourself over to Goldkeeper. Gold rare, gold keeper, gold keeper, uh, and gold rare, and then usually what you will find. Now, of course, from there, where do you go to build your coins up? We've got some simple methods here. So gold rare, forward, England, Prem, and City. You've got Grealish and Foden. Something nice with 84s and 85s. If you've maybe got a few less coins than that, and you only want to go for kind of a, a bit of a cheaper route, you've got Sancho and Rashford. Similar filter, very easy to toss between. And then once you've made yourself maybe 10K, you can pop this one on. So gold rare, gold keeper, Prem, and minimum 10, 250, because that's really going to build your coins to maybe the 30, 40Ks, where you want to move into the special cards. Now, first of all, what's a really good thing we've got here, of course, with the current promo, we've got premium shapeshifters and you've also got standard shapeshifters. Now, premium shapeshifters, looking at the list of cards they've used is, I, I think, pretty poor. Now, you've got a couple options you can do on the lower end of this. Now, first of all, you've got 30K, you've literally got the keeper. So this guy, pretty useless. I don't really understand why they've made this card. I get that they've got to put outfield players into goal, but you've got Kane, you've got Walker, you had a load of options where everyone would have been buzzing. Not chosen to use any of them. They've kind of used quite mid ones. So that is kind of the, the cheaper method. You can do that one there. 30k. I think his minimum, looking at the foot bin, if it's not just going to show me some ad, I'll wait for that to play. Um, you're looking at, I think, around the 10k mark. You usually are looking at that mark with these kind of special cards. So 30k, you just want to pick it up realistically for like 28 and then try sell on for 31 maybe. So quite an easy profit there. You're looking at just over a thousand coins profit. I can finally get rid of the foot bin ad and tell you what his minimum is. Foot bin is literally caked with ads. I know when they got bought out, they just decided, yeah, we don't care about the consumer. Yeah, so the minimum is 11K. So this one, you've got, what, like 16, 17K, maybe even 18, 19K as a maximum profit there, which is quite good. We've got one for 28 that we have missed, but you can see how easy that would be. Now, weirdly enough, if you take yourself over to chemistry style, put it as basic for outfield, it basically gets rid of the keeper. But what it does do is weirdly, I think one of the first cards we are, why is he? Oh, that, that, that's broken. He's not meant to have normal chemistry styles. That is very, that does ruin this. That is very, see, it doesn't help, does it? He's meant to have, I assume, that there are none with goalkeeper. You can only get a troller. That's a mess up and a half. I mean, we found an EA mistake, but at least we can get a filter out of that. So if you go on the goalkeeper one, how did EA make mistakes like this? So you've got this option. You can find a troller on this as well, but you can't find them on the one you should find them. I mean, well, you can, but you can't find... It's, I mean, I don't know why Cabrera is that. That that actually, I, don't, I wouldn't say it ruins the filter, but it definitely doesn't help with the filter. Now, of course, in terms of what you can do in terms of higher end premium shapeshifters, there isn't much. Now, Zaha, obviously quite a good card, but if you actually have a look at what you've got in the nations and in the actual cards, nothing really aligns in the premium side. You have to go over to the standard shapeshifter. And a good place to start once you're there is to just pop on midfielder. So as you can see, you can have Adeyemi on the bottom end. You'll have Bai, you've got Alvarez. 
Um, we should have a few more. You've got a war, I think, as well there uh, in the mix. So you've got quite a lot of these guys. Of course, it does depend if people have changed their position and things like that. But usually, you should be able to get every single card. So if you go to 40k, you kind of got the low end. It's Taliso, not a war. I always get those two mixed up. But nice little Taliso card there. Unfortunately, probably no one's going to use it. I, I can't imagine many people are really using that card right now, especially at this point in the game. But it's definitely a good one to snipe off. If you're looking at about 30k for that starting point. So once again, take off your 10% for EA tax and that's kind of the easiest way to do it ea tax is five percent so just take off ten percent of the card because then you make a minimum what ea tax is and usually it's quite a decent bit off each card now weirdly guys the next place you want to take yourself is shapeshifter icon these cards actually have one of the lowest minimums which means you can make the most coins off them so you want to look at about realistically the 40k mark around here which is where you're going to find the fernando herrero you've got raquel mate there should be a petite card that comes up here as well so all of these sat around the 45k mark so if you put it down to 44 500 you can see there's a few cards just been listed on the market right now if we go with max price there you can kind of see what these guys are really worth so 45k does seem like the best price to be putting them up for ea tax on that 10 percent is 4.5 so you half it ea tax is actually 2250 so if we go down by 2250 that's where you met and anything under this should be good profit. What we really want to do is probably go to 40k to really get ourselves the best possible profit that we can. It's a nice little 2.5 per card. Definitely a good place to start, especially when these cards have such a low minimum. I mean, these can be listed a lot lower than I believe the average icon can. I'm not sure if they've updated price ranges on like normal icons, but these are definitely the lowest. We've got one there for 40k. So very easily, you're managing to pick up these cards. And you know, this is a zero to 200. We're not really gonna go for any of these kind of higher valued cards or the real high end stuff. But there's a lot here at the bottom, which is really easy to use. Shifter icon and French. Now, of course, this actually only brings up a T, but because he's got two versions of his card, it's still a filter and it still works. You can see all of these are below the 200k mark. So you can definitely get him a little bit cheaper. Now, the reality is with these ones is that if you were to sit and put Petit in in the player name, you've got to then add a few extra things in. It's I think it's the prime Petit you've got to snipe, but it's not worth wasting your time doing that. Just put your French shapeshifter icon. It's a little bit easier. Now, this guy's going for about what seems like about 185 would be like a fair point to say that that's kind of his worth. 10% of that, about 18K. So if we realistically go down to 165, that's about a 10K profit and you've got EA tax covered as well. So very, very easily done. And it's not real, sorry, not realistic. It's not unrealistic that someone's gonna list, list him for this because realistically, it's one of the worst cards to pack. I packed him, my brother's packed him. You know, I think in I think my brother packed both cards in one pack. I packed, I think the, the worst one basically. But in one household, we've got three patees. You know, it's obviously not that much of a rare card. The better one is obviously harder to pack, but there isn't much disparity between the two. And there's definitely gonna be a lot of people who are angrily packing him and then just looking to get rid of him as soon as possible. Now, quite controversially, we do want to go back, of course, if you can, the team of the year icons. These guys are worth way under the 200k mark at the minute. It's definitely one where you can snipe as little as 88k. I feel like if you did the team of the year icon SPC for Cole, you're probably guided. I've got Beckham and I packed him and I probably only had him in my team out of just like flex. He's out now because he's just a big L. Now, if you take yourself to Prem Tots moments, what you will also find is the likes of Son and of course, the likes of Harry Kane have got a lot cheaper. Now, of course, if you take yourself over to Team of the Season Moments Premier League, what you will find is you've got James and Son on the lower end. Both of them should be below 200k. However, there's no Jameses on the market. So it's a feel worth trying. If you find a James, you might be absolutely in your money as well. Of course, similarly, Syria had a load of those Tots moments that you could really just make a ton of. That was a really good section of the Syria Tots. And of course, an interesting card to go back to is the Rule Bakers. Of course, we do actually have the likes of Man United Ronaldo on this one. So if you go over there, what you will see is three of his cards on the market. Now, what you can do, obviously, it's a little bit of a techie one to really spend too much time on, but you can, if you can find one a little bit lower, obviously, you can see a bit of disparity in those prices. It might be one worth taking a look at. You know, if someone lists it a little bit lower, you can make an absolute ton. That's kind of a little golden nugget there you might not want to spend too much time on it but a bit of compare price you could find an absolute steal of course when you have spent your time absolutely killing it and got up a lot of coins when you're at that 200k mark and you've just kept going maybe taking yourself up to 500k you want to go to this one here so this one's an interesting feel where you've got the likes of Mane and you've also got the likes of Goretzka now they're a lot closer in price than they used to be before I think Mane was an insane price before you can see actually these Goretzkas are getting some pretty big steals on I mean if we go further down here What's the price looking like? There's 370 there. Um, and you can realistically see not too far up, 400. So 360, 370, 400. So there's a big gap.
gap in the price in there. You can make a ton if you just get a few more people making some mistakes there. You've obviously got to check what he's actually selling for. Don't be too hasty with your buys. Now, obviously, we've not had as much content today. I've been a little bit ill, so it hasn't been as easy to prepare the video. But don't worry, we've got more diverse and more content coming over the next days. So make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new around here. And of course, as usual, if you want a chance to just get in that giveaway, you've got to send proof over on Instagram. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.